digital trust means being able to create connections between our digital identities and our real identities and protecting our information. I'm Julie Chapman. My family and I, we rescue dogs. Right now we have two rescue dogs. I enjoy training dogs. I've taken classes on it. I'm always learning about it. Um, the other thing I love is uh, Star Trek. I'm very much a science fiction purist and Star Trek has influenced technology and society. And the third thing I like to do is I like to mentor junior and up and coming cyber professionals, helping them find their paths in cyber. For my journey, I had to make my own way quite a bit. And um, I wanted to create a path for others maybe to, to have someone to help them with that because I think it's important. I think we lose out on talent if we're not intentional about bringing others along and secession planning. My career journey did not start in cyber. It began in clinical laboratory science and technology in the Navy. I transitioned into cyber when I joined the FBI as an analyst. And I worked at the FBI for about 13 years. It was a very cool role. Um, transitioned to Deloitte as a cyber risk leader, worked with GSK for about a year leading cybersecurity strategy and now I'm an associate partner. I work in risk and resilience and um, I think resilience and digital trust are definitely linked. In today's world we talk about uh, AI, blockchain, IoT and so many things. Cyber is ubiquitous, it's a part of our lives forevermore. As a human being, uh, digital trust is important to me because I do conduct a lot of business online, um, a lot of uh, recreational activity online, and I, I would like my privacy to be respected and protected. There's also the other side of it when we talk about um, protecting society as a whole and the fact that digital trust is a public good, right? It's just not a private matter. Each of us has a digital footprint, which should be respected and protected. But we also want the convenience of shopping, learning, and moving about online, so it is a balance. One thing I learned is to stay intellectually curious and open to learning. Cybersecurity is such an amazing field because of the fact that things change so quickly. So if you're someone that has a natural orientation to learning and intellectual curiosity, you'll do well. I think ISACA as an organization has a big role to play in advancing the idea of digital trust and influencing that space um, through education and the people piece. So we, we think about people, process, and technology. And the temptation in cyber is to focus on the technology. If you're in audit, the temptation is to focus on the process. But it's really all about the people. Without the people, we don't have cyber and we have nothing to audit. So I think ISACA as an educational um, organization, as a people-focused organization, has a major role to play in that way. I'm Julie Chapman in pursuit of digital trust.